Hey guys, kumusta kayong lahat? This is uh, Mentor Leo. And right now guys, I just wanna show to you yung um, part of my preparation for next week's uh, stock trading sa Philippine market. And as you may know, I uh, every week and I uh, nagre-release ako ng aking uh, weekly stock updates. So just to give you some kind of overview how I select those uh, stocks for the next week. Uh, firstly, I am always checking the index. And as I see here, the index uh, has been in a very nice uptrending setup. It's trying to uh, break above this uh, key resistance level. And uh, looking at the monthly uh, pivot point, uh, the price uh, with respect to the pivot point, we are above the pivot point and currently testing the resistance level at 7,300. Now, also looking at the price action in the past uh, few weeks, uh, especially during the beginning of this year, we have the price opening above the pivot, pullback, testing the pivot, buying pressure, inside bar and then bullish engulfing so this means that our index wants to move higher so we have here a key resistance level which is a prior swing high at 7300 we have also a volume in the previous uh, trading day which is above average during this move so we have a chance here that uh, next week we will be breaking above this level and if it won't uh, it will hesitate uh, then we have this level of uh, consolidation which is uh, possible also before breaking out so the key uh, thing here is that you should always see that the price is not uh, is holding above this uh, seven thousand 60 level or on this area so as long as it is uh, above on this level we remain bullish on this uh, index the philippine market all right so since we are bullish on the index it means that there are also a lot of uh, opportunities for the individual stocks uh, at in, uh, the markets of Philippines. so here it is what i saw and by the way i won't go into too much details here on my individual stocks but if you would like to get the detailed analysis the entry stop loss and the target prices of my stock picks you may uh, write to me privately and I will send you the details how you can subscribe to my weekly stock updates which I am uh, sending via email so from here uh, I see PHA was my actually uh, uh, one of my picks last week See it, uh, I put it at January 3. You see that uh, PHA was a buy at current price. So Sunday I have released this uh, stock update and we have, we, I advise everyone to buy at the current price or better. Also Meg, so what happened to this? It skyrocketed, skyrocketed, and uh, other stocks as well. There are four of them who that, that really went into profitable territory. Okay, so for next week, uh, we see the PHA is already overextended. It's not really good to enter at current price. So at this moment, I always like to uh, wait for uh, another buy setup or a pullback over this uh, uh, point of breakout or somewhere here at R1. So yan lang yung kinaka pullback na gusto kong makita. Kung pullback pa ng mas malalim, that could mean that uh, the consolidation or the the consolidation will be much longer. Alright, so sun, sun is also the same, but uh, we have already an extended price, so it's not good for a pullback. This one is already uh, showing some sell pressure. This one looks nice, also having a bullish engulfing. So since this is a blue chip, I would like to buy it somewhere here near the pivot uh, 4.3. Okay, 
DLC looks uh, very nice. However, we saw some uh, uh, cell pressure at R1. And and uh, so so um to be cool to buy it uh near 0 0.47 and 0 0.46 Aba was trying to break above this uh, 0 0.78 but failed so yeah, I would like to buy that here at the blue zone 6 0 0.68 to 0 0.71 and uh, FPH, one of my top picks for next week, having a squeeze setup, and then we have an engulfing candle. This looks promising for next week. So targets are R1, uh, R2, R3, R4 to R5 for next week. So this is going to be a potential uh, upper for next week. So again, if you would like to get the most more detailed analysis of my stock picks, especially for FPH, how are, are we going to enter on this trade and how am I going to set my stop loss, you may subscribe to my weekly stock updates. UPO, not good. It's showing uh, sell pressure now. Uh, this one also nice. So this will be included in my weekly updates. And as I have said, last week was a buy signal. So we have here uh, price holding above the buy bottom point. So this is a promising uh, stop. Actually, as you can see, January 3, I, I advise everyone uh, among my subscribers uh, to buy it at the current price or better. So somebody, uh, let's see, my viewers not in Neon. So, right, guys. So is for next week so marami actually so if you would like to get uh, most of my many of my picks for next week mayari may subscribe kayo sa aking weekly stock update and uh, let me know via pm or email me via my email address uh, or so you can email me via here this email or just uh, directly send me a private message so, marami pa ako mga nakikita dito ng mga potential mover for next week. So, oh, SMPH is also very nice. It's a very good setup. Setting up above the pivot plus meron pang squeeze. So, pag meron squeeze, ibig sabihin yan guys, uh, yung price dito ay nag-aroon uh, ng uh, accumulation of energy which might lead to a price spike upward. So, momentum is now pointing upward. So, napakaganda SMPH for next week. URC. Yes. It's good also. Ali. SM. So, yung mga blue chips. They, uh, like what I said to you earlier, yung PSEI is so bullish. So, most of mga blue chips, yung mga stock ay bullish din. MER. So, Meralco. So, very nice. So, napakaganda ng market natin guys. So, if you would like to take advantage of those and you would like really, um, to pick the best one, then uh, join us at uh, my weekly stock updates. Alright, so that's all for today guys. Uh, God bless and good luck for next week.